Hello everybody and welcome back to Poison Mushroom, the show where I play some of the shittiest games of all time. And looky here, we have yet another TV slash game show based game. This one is the Apprentice Los Angeles version, I suppose. It's like CSI, it's getting all these different regional versions now. Now if you're anything like me, you're probably befuddled when you look at this intro screen, because there's a lot of things The Apprentice needs, uh, not the least of which is a merciful death. But one thing it definitely did not need was a comic book styled game based on its exploits. So I guess they couldn't get Donald Trump to provide his voice or even, you know, take the time to render him in 3D for this game. So instead, we just get him looking at us here like a goddamn triple-chinned Batman villain, telling us about how sushi is the symbol of California cuisine. Funny. Uh, I might have thought it was actually the symbol of Japanese cuisine, but I guess beggars can't be choosers here. So today we're going to compete to see who can earn the most money running the newest sushi restaurant here in the heart of Little Tokyo. And here's where things get a little bit strange, considering this is an apprentice game. Alright, so you can see, as I start playing here, that I'm actually put in this kind of, like, time management situation. And it's starting to look an awful lot like Hell's Kitchen, which I did in the second episode of this season of Poison Mushroom. So basically, I gotta give this girl the menu, and then when she gives me her order, I assemble the sushi, send it off to the sushi chef, they make it, and then I pick it up and drop it off. So essentially, this is just a clicking on people simulator. And immediately, if you're playing this, you're thinking to yourself, Did I just pay $20 for a time management game? Yes. Yes, you did. Alright, so let's give her her butter and cheese sushi on top of a baked potato here. Surprise, surprise, level 2 is still sushi. Only this time we're serving Duke Nukem's dad over here. And give this guy a cupcake. This does not look like a guy who eats cupcakes. Looks like a guy who calls people cupcakes before he beats their face in. Oh, you're back for more, I see. So we'll get the white rice here, we'll get the butter and cheese sushi, and then watch what happens when we give it to this guy. He just kind of juggles around a potato for like 30 seconds and then finally gives us the dish. Level 3, more sushi, but this time we have two new seats. I'm wondering if and when the sushi will ever end. Like at this point, I have not played any more of this game. I'm kind of thinking it might just be a sushi simulator, but they're like, shit, we got this apprentice license, we might as well make it work. And the dude's meter is turning yellow, I think that means he's gonna piss himself. Oh wait, this isn't The Sims. It just wants to be. I have a feeling that this lady is gonna order the cupcake. Ah, shrimp sushi, nice choice. I'm trying to watch your weight. Oh Jesus, I can't help but watch it right now. I'm sorry, that's a little insensitive of me. Almost as insensitive as the game is being with its incredibly racist portrait of Japanese people in the background there. Duke Nukem here for his sixth meal in a row. So you gotta get a lot of protein when you're gonna maintain that kind of physique. The sushi standoff enters its 45th hour. Jesus, it feels like I've been playing this game for my entire life. Holy fuck, I've been playing this sushi game for like 15 fucking minutes. You gotta be thinking to yourself, the only reason I bought this game is to hear Donald Trump say to someone that you're fired. Then I open up the game and realize it's just a fucking cartoon abomination of him on the screen. Never gonna hear any goddamn voice work. Plus, on top of that, I'm treated to this minigame that has absolutely nothing to do with the fucking show at all. What an unbelievable waste of your time and money. Who the fuck buys umbrellas at a sushi restaurant? Oh my god, it's the sixth level of sushi. Come on. How much longer can I endure of this torture? What did you do this weekend? Oh, I played The Apprentice. Oh, how's that game? It's pretty good. I learned a lot about the preparation of traditional Japanese food. Man, everybody who comes in here orders an umbrella and a cupcake. It's supposed to be the best fucking umbrellas in the world. Oh yeah, man, you gotta check out the cupcakes at the sushi restaurant. They're out of this world. Oh, have mercy. I finally completed the sushi task. Can we please move on? Alright, Team Kinetic, $12,075 in umbrellas. Remarkable performance. Team Arrow, 9,330, not so good. Must have been Amorosa. So like 99% of the appeal of The Apprentice is the boardroom drama that comes when someone is about to be fired. Here, he just comes out and says, I've made my decision, Amorosa's been fired. Can you help make the clothes boutique the place to shop in 90210? I smell another clicking game. Game designer, you're fired. Look at the drawing of Donald Trump here. Looks like he's trying to take a shit with his business jacket on. Alright, she wants a red dress. We gotta click on the red dress icon. I think I might actually prefer the sushi minigame. Why am I the only staff working in this place if it's supposed to be like the greatest boutique in Beverly Hills? One guy who knows nothing about fashion. At least we got some bumping music to go along with right now. Sound designer, you're fired. Oh, no we don't have any more cupcakes, miss. 
You gotta have to go to the sushi restaurant for that. Excuse me, I, do you guys know each other? You can't just come in here and mooch off the free espresso. A clothing store is not like a restaurant where people just sort of hang out for a minute trying to figure out what they want while they sit in a goddamn chair. Oh man, I've picked up these shoes but I can't find anyone to give them to. I guess I'll just throw them in the trash. Uh, that's pretty much as the most wasteful thing I could possibly imagine. Is this what you girls really do when you go shopping? Hello, welcome to Macy's. May I take your order? I mean, I've played a lot of shitty games on Poison Mushroom so far this year. This one is bar none the shittiest. I mean, this is miles below even what Deal or No Deal is like. This is worse than Euro Truck Simulator. Jesus Christ, just go look at your own blue shoes. They're right over here. There's no reason. Do I, do I have to do everything for you? How old are you? Strange, it seems everyone in Los Angeles is wearing the same six outfits this year. Alright, fantastic, I get to go to the boardroom and see what actually happens when you fuck up. Maybe Donald Trump actually says you're fired? Match positives card, increase your score. Match negative ones, decrease your opponent's score. Matching your opponents with any card gives them the card's point value. The Trump cards are wild to match any card. What the fuck am I playing right now? Okay, you know how this works. No, I fucking don't. Also, look at the tits on Ivanka. Good lord. You're hired, lead artist. Oh, so it's just like concentration? Your communication was good. This shit is ridiculous. Well, this is exactly what I expected from an apprentice game, Simply playing fucking concentration right now. Simply put, your strategy on this task was a disaster. Nice voice work. <laughs> you wanted me to do one more take? Nah, man, that's good. Ah, Sean, you're fired, buddy. Oh, man, and now we're gonna have to enter a fucking sport fishing business. You know what? Fuck it, if the game's not even gonna try, why should I? This is a bigger disgrace to fans of this original source material than the Deal or No Deal game was. At least that game actually offered a true experience of what it was like to play on the show. Hell, it might be boring and entirely based on random chance, but that was authentic. This is just a game where they had fucking six-time management games lined up, but no license to shovel them on there. And then they decided, hey, we got Donald Trump here, this license is reasonably popular, might as well cash in and make a quick buck on some idiots who aren't gonna do their research before they pick it up. Anyway, this is the most hateful episode of Poison Mushroom there has ever been, and with good reason. If you liked the episode, I appreciate likes and or favorites, but in any case, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you next week when I actually hope we encounter a game that isn't this bad. Thanks for watching. What did you do this weekend? Oh, I played The Apprentice. Oh, how's that game? It's pretty good. I learned a lot about the preparation of traditional Japanese food.